Well, you know, I never claim to be the smartest man on the planet, but I like to say, uh, you know, I'm a simple man, and when I open something up and there's instructions, what do I do? Throw them away. It's a, it's a 12 volt winch, you just hook it up. It's all, you know, come on, red, yellow, black, it all hooks up, and uh, you're all set. Well, in this case, probably would have paid to uh, read those instructions, would have saved me a little bit of aggravation. Maybe this little trick, well, not a trick, but a uh, little tip will help you. So, I like these uh, Harbor Freight, you know, Badlands winches. Pretty simple, pretty inexpensive. Work well for, you know, hauling junk cars. So, my latest uh, one that I got not too long ago, I decided to uh, spend a little extra and get a little wireless remote. Ooh, ooh, nice, a little fancy, yeah. You can, uh, you know, you can sit in the driver's seat and, you know, you can just steer it right up. You don't have to, you know, stand back here with the remote and then walk back and steer it and then go back or have somebody else steer it that doesn't know what the hell they're doing and end up, you know, causing a big problem. So I really thought it would be nice. Now, I could never seem to get the things to work right. You know, uh, I had a lot of problems with it. It would, uh, you know, you'd get a little bit far away down there and, and the thing doesn't want to work or, you know, it you, you hit it and it jogs the winch. It's got no power. It sounds different. A lot of little things going on. And actually, a time or two, it actually stuck on. And uh, that was kind of exciting. So, you know, after checking everything all the connections and even going as far as yeah i'm gonna admit it okay i returned the whole goddamn thing and got another one did the same thing what is going on okay i even returned the wireless remote which is sold separate i got a new one of those still nothing i even after researching online They said that the batteries that come in these are junk. First thing you want to do is get yourself a regular new battery for it. Little round guy that goes in. Well, no, it's a it's a little miniature uh, stubby one there. Forget the number. But anyway, they say get rid of that lithium one and get yourself a good, you know, anything, Duracell or whatever. Put it in there. So I did that. Same thing. So, basically gave up and, uh, you know, just went with my old, uh, you know, trusty plug it in and works great, but you got to keep walking back and forth. So, last night, or this morning, I think, um, I was watching a YouTube video by No Nonsense Know How. Check that out, uh. He's got two channels. The other one's just got a two at the end of it. But um, this guy's definitely pretty smart. He's been a mechanic for years, and I really enjoy the videos. He doesn't talk stupid, you know, with a stupid, you know, weird voice and acting all goofy like some guys. But anyway, it's pretty good. It's no nonsense, no how. And uh, he does reviews you know, on certain things for companies, you know, and he had a, he had a winch, I forget, it wasn't a Harbor Freight one, but, um, he, it had the basic same thing anyway, I mean, you know, every winch is going to have your control box and your three wires, you know, and, uh, he got his all hooked up now, he got this little black wire it comes into the control box here okay it's like a little ground wire now if you were to hook this up first thing you would do is wouldn't you just put it right there I mean that's black that's ground right that should be fine 
Okay, so that's where he put it. And uh, he was having the same thing. I couldn't believe it. He had the wireless remote for it. And he was back there. And that thing was doing all sorts of funny shit. Jogging and getting in and out, no power. So then he ends up going back and actually reading the instructions. Finds out that he had put that little wire in the wrong spot. And actually, the little wire is supposed to go to the ground that's underneath the motor here. Okay? That's where they want you to put it. Okay, now don't tell me, I said, I mean, don't ask me the goddamn difference because you figure ground's ground, right? No, it doesn't work that way. So I come out and I can't wait. I want to see. I start questioning myself, where did I put my little wire? Sure enough, it was going right there. So I said, well, of course I got to switch it around and see if it works, right? Well, unfortunately, I had to, I put this plate on and you can see I put that ground cable on before I bolted the winch down, obviously, because I can't get to it. So all I did was the wire was only that long. So, you know, because you only have to go right there and most... You know, they want you to have this, like, on top there. I don't really like that. I like to see the whole cable, have it all open. But, anyway, so I got myself a piece of wire out of the garage there, a nice heavy ground wire, black. Uh, and I just spliced it on with a nice uh, little connector there that you heat up, and it shrinks and stuff, you know, nice for the weather. Now, right here is where that ground cable is coming off the bottom of that motor, you know? So it's pretty much the same thing, you know, just uh, doesn't know that it's here and not there. Anyway, it's going to that ground. So I have mine with a disconnect like that because of the nightmares I was having with this winch sticking on a couple of times. It pulled the car all the way. It was coming at me, so I had to quickly rip that off. So I put that just in case that happened again. Um, yeah, so after I put that wire on, I just tested it out, and I winched this Jeep up, and I sat right on the side of it and steered it up and it works great absolutely perfect I mean just like night and day so much power so fast just ripped it right up there So, I don't know, maybe you have a Harbor Freight winch and this is happening to you, but hopefully it helps somebody, certainly help me see on the streets.